this computer. All right. What is up, dude? How's it going? It's going well. Real well. What's the past couple of uh, weeks been like? Um, they've been, I've been really into my practice in a non-effortful way. <laughs> Which part of your practice is that? Um, you know, all of it, uh, baseline, you know, I'm going to, uh, to, to groups, right. The, the regular mm-hmm. groups I go to, um, I'm, you know, the, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to, to stumble upon some folks that are looking for some help, you know, um, <clears throat> as well. And then still doing my, those, uh, those like 45 minute meditations, um, five days a week, roughly. Nice. Um, and it, I honestly, I think that might be the big game changer for me. Like, it's just the filter of things are just completely different, you know? I've never, uh, I've never been this profoundly impacted by a meditation practice. I love how you phrase it too, as it is a filter. My perception is the filter that goes through my whole experience. It's all that there is, is my perception of the world around me. That's it. That's all I have. Perception mm-hmm. is reality. Now you're like, can I be like, oh, this is like, the sky is green. That's my perception. But no. But the, but the sky being blue is most certainly my perception through coming through my eyes. A blind person has a completely different perception of the world. My perception is my reality. And the story, and most of the things that like, at least in my experience, that's like, that I was used to be like, this is how things are. This is the reality of the situation were just stories I was telling myself about why I couldn't have what I wanted or whatever it was. And we're just shitty stories about the world around me. And so... Anything I can do to shift my perception or that filter that you like you called it in a direction that enhances contentment and joyfulness in my life, Mm -hmm. thumbs up and do it consistently. Thumbs up. So I add that in there because we can, I could use, I could drink. That would do, that's nice. I drink it. That changes sure. my fucking filter uh, almost immediately. <laughs> the problem is though, know, when I do stuff like that, I generally make other decisions, which make the rest of my life much shittier. So yeah. <laughs> meditation is a nice one because it's like, I just sit here and then I do this thing and then the rest of my day is different. And then the rest of my life is different. Mm. So my life is just an amalgamation of the days that I have. So changing that filter is, and then like, there's no effort there. Once the filter is different, it's different, right? My, when my default shifts to uh, like, not thinking everything is a fucking emergency and that I'm on fire or I need to get like, you know, it's better than uh, like getting like after getting mad and then like apologizing and taking responsibility for it. And like to all the other, it's like not getting mad in the fucking first right. place. <laughs> not feeling that emotion arise at all and not having to deal with it. Yes the reparations of it i don't have to fucking deal with the things that i just don't like that's the like oh the best way to be in shape is to already be in shape Hmm. Mm, the best way to lose weight is to just not have to lose weight in the first place because i'm already moving my body around i'm fucking eating foods that taste delicious and are good for my body at the same time and stopping when i'm full like that's the easiest way is to not have to do it that makes it effortless And we might be like, oh, well, duh, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, how do we get there? And it's finding things that steadily shift our minds into this direction. And those can start. It doesn't have to be 45 minutes of meditation again. It'll be like, oh, maybe I'm just going to go for a walk. It's really funny. I'm watching The Crown, new, new oh, season. Wow. It's fucking fantastic. It's so good. And the queen's like, you feel it sad? Just go for a brisk walk. And she's like, that's your solution to everything. It's like, yeah, because it works. I'm like, it does. It shifts momentum. 
whatever it is, whatever it is, I had a tendency to think that I had to do these big grand things to like change, switch my life around, move my life yeah. around. It was, no, it's like small, basic shit repeatedly over and over and over again. And then that virtuous cycle just continues. Hold on, I've got like Slack pinging me a bunch. And my yeah, boss I, had, is I boss. had to close some windows too. That's fine. Hold on. Um, yeah, my boss just messaged Ryan, just told her she's gonna wait a bit there. Um, so, ah, meditations are going well. What else? Yeah, and I think that's my little, like at least it's seeming right, right now. That's the catalyst for, for a lot of things. Like since I've done that, like it's, I don't even think about eating healthy, right? Or the way I want to, like I just am. My energy consequently is just constantly like, like not having, not having for me, not having huge energy swings, like, or meaning like sugar high. And then more importantly, and more consequently the sugar crash. Right. And then feeling like I don't do anything. Like there's a, there is a big whole chain of things, and, but I started slow. Like I started with like, I'm just going to start getting a more of a consistent meditation practice and see what happens. Right. And then these other things just kind of chained together naturally right it wasn't like a big plan it was just i started to do a thing right and and so yeah now i'm i'm you know realizing some pretty good well-being from that chain of things you know, i'm exercising a few times a week i'm like i said keeping close to the groups um i'm you know i'm not mood swinging for my family which i think is like a huge treat for everybody um especially myself <clears throat> and I mean, it's even, even on my quote unquote, like good times in the past, I've always had like a jolt of something, you know, every now and then to where like, I'm not interacting with the people I want to, for some reason, it's just like that kind of has dissipated for the most part. <laughs> well, yeah, it's stuff will happen, right? You know, stuff will yeah. happen. Uh, it's life. It's just, it's a lot easier to react to that kind of stuff when uh, it doesn't happen every fucking day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit more spread out and you tried a bunch of shit right that didn't work mm -hmm. or you didn't get what you were wanting out of the thing and that's another part of it too is just trying shit out like i journal some days a bunch some days i don't uh i like it it ebbs and flows uh i meditate a bunch sometimes i don't i work out a bunch sometimes i don't it ebbs and flows it's finding what works for me Mm -hmm. but fundamentally exactly. go ahead sorry go ahead no no no. Uh, i was okay. gonna say yeah i've picked up my journal again and like it's much less rigid than it was before and it's so nice like when when i was doing it before it was like this is my format this is exactly these are the components that need to be a part of it and now it's like some days i feel like you know i'll write down what i want to do that day some days i'll i'll write out a, a reflection that i had that day and nothing else like it's just a lot even that, you know, it's just like, I can tell it's like, it's so nice to not be putting that pressure on myself. Mm, mm. It is the like, <laughs> so frequently I would be like, it would get, it would be these grand gestures and then I would like not do them and fail. And then I would feel even worse. Cause then I wouldn't do the things. And then I would be like, I can't even do these things, blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, putting the cart before the horse, but the fundamentals, like the basic, basic, basics is understanding where this discord comes from, where my emotional discord comes from in the first place, which is where, Kellen? Um, your thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, it's my thinking, right? And then, okay, so if it comes from my thinking, then how do I start shifting my thinking? What's the way that we like that we do it there's tons of ways to do it um, what do we do to change our thinking mm -hmm. yeah so we've got these thoughts that we're not liking so what are the steps to change those that thinking yeah i mean if we're not aware enough to just choose the better feeling thought um well, yeah, first I've got to cut, like, first I've got to come aware of it. Exactly. I've got to understand that that's the root cause. Sure. 
like that's the root cause so that's one great then now i okay now i know it's that's the root cause of my 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 problems then what um i mean then i usually try to find that better feeling thought you know well how do i find that thought i kill i mean for me there's a lot of different avenues right there's, there's, it's everything we just talked about, right? I could go seek one of those outlets. It could be coming here. Um, those are some of the things that keep me on my path internally. It's just like my, it's, it's the, your emotional feedback system, right? How is this thing making me feel? Yeah. Well, I mean, one, initially to start, we catalog them. We literally list them out and then we go through them one by one to get training yeah. and identify what they are. Then we take full responsibility for them. Go really deep because the surface level thoughts of like, I don't like the meter made that they gave me a ticket or whatever, isn't really what it's about. It's something deeper. Mm -hmm. And we dig to that root cause to find out those root stories. Right. And then once we discover the root and okay, now we know we've got like 10, root stories that we're telling ourselves thousands of times a day, uh, completely unconsciously. They're just happening. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, well, what if we try different ones out? <laughs> and that's literally all it takes. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. And then over time, almost seemingly effortlessly, like the stories just start to get, they just start to change. And that's an exponential process, right? Because at the beginning, we don't have much evidence of what is the truth and what what is what is the, the the other thing that I'm thinking, right? And so it's like that's what's been kind of the the biggest. I think that's just been the thing that's completely. It's like the fulcrum, right? It's like to where like yeah, you're you're walking up, you're starting to see some of these some of these benefits of thinking these different ways, you're learning what, what patterns are thought are useful to you, what lies you're telling to yourself, what underlying fears you have. And then you start to get evidence of thinking the other way. Right. And it doesn't, it, it starts to become second nature. And, um, it's just like, if you can keep going until you get there, right. Like it's I a virtuous no spiral. It's a virtuous yeah. spiral. It's just a virtuous upward spiral that it all builds onto each other. And then it just gets easier and easier and easier and easier and easier and easier over time, which is pretty nice. In the beginning, it kind of feels like, like <laughs> it's super hard, <laughs> but the hardest part is just building that momentum. Once the rock is go is rolling down the hill, cakewalk. The thing that, that uh, I was trying to think like, well, you know, what are some other things that have happened? Like, why do, why do I, have I felt so profoundly, um, let's say, well, you know, the past month, like, yeah, I'm doing these things, but to not, to get to the point where like, and we've talked about this a lot in the past, but like, even, even after we'd been working together for years, I still fell into this, like, I don't know that the herd, meaning the majority of people still think this other way. And it's a little scary for me to think that I'm over here and right or, or I'm over here thinking these things, right? And it's somehow incorrect because the herd is over here doing these other things, right? And to, to get comfortable with being over there and, and knowing your true path, right? For lack of, and, and, and in a way I don't speak normally. Knowing right? your but, true path, you know I mean? oh man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, scratch that one. <laughs> but not going back, right? Because of what other people are doing, which I did, I have done a lot of. Well, it goes back to knowing, right? So when I know a thing to be true, it's like, it doesn't really matter what other people are saying. I don't really care. And so generally when I, that's also not entirely true. Cause there's also, there was a time when I like needed to show you that you were wrong. There was a need inside of me that was like, mm, you're wrong and you need to know about it. Um, and I'm going to fucking tell you. That's why I majored in philosophy was so I could just find people who had like faith in religion and just destroy them with logic. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a staunch atheist, um, which is really funny. Uh, 
So that was a self-esteem issue. That was like, I'm going to get my enoughness by showing other people how right I am. That's where that came from. And the more self the more self-esteem I built, the less I gave a shit about what others thought about a particular subject that I was a like an expert in. And it's so fucking freeing to just not have other people have to understand this stuff. It's it's awesome. Like if I <laughs> I don't like no one needs to get that. Like everyone else is gonna be fine. They're mm -hmm. gonna be fine. And if someone's really suffering and they want to change, I'll absolutely fucking help them 100%. But I'm not going to go, that's the difference between what we do and like a religion is a religion evangelizes and wants to get more people and recruit <laughs> and expand. Right. And we're uh, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Because the only way I know for how this stuff to work is if someone fucking wants it. They want it so bad. And then they come to me. No promotion whatsoever. Nothing but attraction here, man. To go back all the way on your original thing of like worried about other people and what they'll think. Where is that coming from for you? Um, it's for me, it's like uh, validating my value by what other people think about me. Yes. Yeah. Right. So I, I adhere to what. I think is acceptable to them. I don't right? know what so you're talking point. about, man. I don't, I've never felt that before. Yeah. Yeah. Conformist for sure. <laughs> so is that people pleasing aspect or, or that, uh, that, uh, my value comes from the opinion of others. It's that. And it's also like, if you go back to some like four, like original four steps, um, or sorry, you know, original inventories, <clears throat> um, then it's like <clears throat> the, the high, the, the middle school bullying where I stood out and it would not even, I just want, all I wanted to do was blend in and not get picked on. Right. And somehow I stood out and got bullied. Right. And, <laughs> I, you know, and, and I, you know, it's just like, I don't know, it's, I don't know what it was, right. Whatever disposition that was, I was tracking at that point, but you know, it, that was a big, that was a big one. Right. That took, it took many years, um, to find out. Yeah, and when did that start subsiding for you? <clears throat> Honestly, like with ebbs and flows, pretty recently did it did it start to dissipate? Like pretty recently, meaning like the past couple of years. That's when you first noticed it. No, like the noticed this feeling of what I was doing. Mm, 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 mm. I was saying that when I started to break out of it was in observe it in a way like observe it and then have a path forward to break out of that cycle mm -hmm. and, and learn a healthier way or be a healthier way um was was like you know a couple of years ago but like my awareness over it was was like at least 10 15 years old like I knew that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, probably ever since it happened you know in fact you know that's the first step awareness <laughs> I got to know that I've got an issue in the first place. <laughs> and so you're feeling a bunch of relief from that. Yeah. Now? Or is it even, it's not like, there's not even a thing. Yeah. It's not even a thing. Like not even a thing. Well, it's like, I mean, yeah, I still have, obviously I still care what people think of me. Like I still like, when I ever hear it was like, when people say, I was like, I don't like, I don't care what people think. I'm just like, okay, that's exactly what a person who cares what people think would say. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Um. <laughs> yeah. And I, I guess to clarify, right. Like, of course I have those moments, but if we're, t if we're looking at it on a scale of now from 12 years yeah, ago exactly. no now it's not a damn thing. exactly it's not it's <laughs> like it's just not a problem right mm -hmm. there's a difference between like wow this is this sucks and okay yeah i felt the thing it's not a big deal like uh an analogy or not an analogy but like an anecdote i tell on that one is like you know i was suicidally depressed for like 10 years give her a fucking take What's a few years of suicidal depression amongst friends? 
and I'll be like randomly like throughout the house one day and a, a thought will come up and be like, you should just fucking kill yourself. <laughs> and I'll be like, what? <laughs> when will that happen? Like, like recently? It happened a few times a year. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, you should fucking kill yourself. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but this the response is like that's absurd, right? That's yeah. the official. It's not like it's not like a, a like assent. Like, oh yeah, you know what? He's got a point there. <laughs> it's like yeah. no. <laughs> uh, that's important for people to hear because I have that same type of stuff, right? And the observation of it in hilarity rather than like being ashamed that you even have the thought. Very different. Things. Oh, it's like, and then and part of this is also just maturing in gen- in general, which is like. I am who I am, man. I've done fucked up shit in the past. Um, I tried my best to remedy as much as I could. And the things I can't are just out of my hands. And I am who I am right now. And there's, that's it. (laughs) This is me. (laughs) That's it. All I can do is work on being the best human being that I can continue to be. Hopefully I can put enough good in the world, right? To balance the scales out so that when I die, at least the world's a little bit better off for me existing than not existing. That's it, man. That's it. Got a bunch of idiosyncrasies, personalities, you name it. And I am who I am. And I'm going to feel the things that I feel. It's totally fucking fine. And most people feel fucking the people feel all sorts of weird shit. Thinks all think all sorts of weird stuff. People are fucking weird. People are fucking weird and it's fine. I'm weird. It's totally fine. Certain amount of self-knowledge, self-understanding. It's not, it's insufficient. There's got to be like this, oh, there doesn't have to be anything, but there's this shift of the curves of just, for lack of a better term, of just self-assuredness. It's like, it's okay to be who I am. Yeah. And feel the feelings that I feel. So much of my suffering was avoiding the things I didn't want to feel. And now that basically turns out to like, I... (laughs) I've got to mail a thing and I don't want to mail it and go to the fucking FedEx office. <laughs> and, and that's the thing I'm not doing, right? Rather than getting my like life together. <laughs> so it, it's, yeah, it's absolutely a scale. That reminds me, I've got to mail this, pa- I got to mail this package. I'm just keep putting it off because I cannot stand the FedEx office. <laughs> This is my least favorite place in the world. (laughs) I would rather spend six months in Beirut than fucking the FedEx office for 13 minutes. That's not true. That's a total lie. I'm being hyperbolic. All right. So your routine so far, you found your groove with meditations. That's fantastic. This might ebb and flow as well. You may love these. You may love these meditations for 45 minutes, five times a week for the rest of your life. I don't know. Or... It could be six months or it could be four years. I have no idea. It doesn't matter what mm-hmm. matters, right? We're going back to the test, emotional guidance system. How is this working for me? And that ebbs and flows, right? Just like fitness routines, how is this working for me? Oh, I'm doing so much strength training. I'm not doing enough mobility. Boop, something tweaks, right? And I get mm-hmm. some feedback. Same thing with the rest of these routines. What else besides meditation? Um. Nothing. I mean, I'm just finding more time to reflect, but nothing in particular. Um, All right. So you're, you're being with your groups or good. You're doing your meditation. Um, And then what about service type stuff? I guess it's a little weird with uh, COVID, but yeah, no, I'm still actually doing um, the, uh, the phone call support. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. Sweet. Dude, you're crushing it and you're feeling fantastic. So 
Is there anything of, uh, that you want to like mention about what you felt fantastic about? I believe that was actually your last homework that I forgot to. Oh, that's up. right. Yeah, actually, if you want to stop recording, we can go into that just for a few minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Later. Bye.